Hello and welcome to Canon Yun channel. This video is for MBA 101, focusing on financial management. This is video 2 of financial management section and I highly encourage you to watch the videos in sequence unless you're on this channel to learn about a particular topic. Diving straight onto the topics, let's understand what are financial statements, especially the balance sheet. On the previous video, we looked at financial marketplace which is a worldview of business through the eyes of an investor using security prices from financial markets. In this chapter, we will look at firm from the perspective of the financial analyst by reviewing the firm's financial statements, including the income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statements. Now let's look at what are financial statements. Financial statements are written records that convey the business activities and the financial performance of a company. Financial statements are often audited by government agencies, accountants, firms, etc. to ensure accuracy and for tax financing or investing purposes. Financial statements include Balance Sheet, which shows the entity's assets, liabilities, and stockholders' equity as of the report date. It does not show information that covers a span of time. Income statement shows the results of entity's operation and financial activities for the reporting period. See, this is how it differs from a balance sheet. It includes revenues, expenses, gains, and losses. Cash flow statements shows changes in entity's cash flows during the reporting period. Lastly, supplementary notes include explanation of various activities, additional details on some accounts, and other items as mandated by the applicable accounting framework, for example, as GAAP or IFRS. At the most minimum level, a business is expected to issue an income statement and balance sheet to document its monthly results and ending financial condition. The full set of financial statements is expected when a business is reporting the results for a full financial year or when a publicly held business is reporting the results of its fiscal quarters. Understanding the balance sheet. The balance sheet provides an overview of a company's assets, liabilities, and stockholders' equity as a snapshot in time. The date at the top of the balance sheet tells you when the snapshot was taken, which is generally the end of the fiscal year. The balance sheet formula. Assets is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. Let's understand each of these variables on the balance sheet formula. Your business's assets are items or resources of value such as property, inventory, trademarks, or patents that your business owns. Business owners can opt to convert assets to cash. Many business assets generate revenue and benefit the owner in the long run. There are different types of assets in accounting. You can classify assets as tangible, intangible, current, and fixed. Tangible assets. Tangible assets are physical items that add value to your company. Some examples of tangible assets include cash, equipment, land, inventory, bonds, stocks. Tangible assets depreciate over time. When you depreciate an asset, you spread its cost over a certain number of years. Tangible assets can also be broken down further into two categories, current and fixed assets. You will learn more about current versus fixed assets later. Let's look at intangible assets. Intangible assets are opposites of tangible assets. Non-physical items that add value to your businesses are intangible assets. Unlike tangible assets, you cannot easily convert intangible assets into cash. You can amortize intangible assets. The amortization of assets is when you distribute the cost of an intangible asset over time. It can be difficult to determine the cost of an intangible asset because they are not physical properties or items. Intangible assets include things like logos, patents, trademarks, copyright, customer list, business licenses.
Now let's look at what current versus fixed assets are. There are a few differences between current versus fixed assets. Current assets. Current assets are items of value your business plans to use or convert to cash within one year. Most businesses use current assets in their day-to-day -day business operations. Current assets are also considered short-term investments because you can convert or use them within one year. Some of your current assets may also be liquid assets. Liquid assets are assets you can quickly turn into cash, like stocks. You can convert assets in a short period of time, such as one month or 60 days. Types of current assets may include things like cash, accounts receivable, inventory, and prepaid expenses. Fixed assets. A fixed asset or non-current asset is a long-term asset that continually brings value to your business after one year. You can't convert fixed assets into cash within one year. As you grow your business, fixed assets help bring long-term value to your company. Because fixed assets are considered long-term assets, they typically depreciate in value over time. For example, the cost of a fixed asset like property is spread out over time versus only one year. Fixed assets can be tangible or intangible. Some examples of fixed assets include cars, lands, building, and machinery. Relax, you don't need to remember these. You work through the examples and then you'll get good at recognizing them. There are tons and tons of material on the web where you can reference what type of assets or liabilities does an item categorize as. On the next video, we'll work with some more examples to reinforce the learning. Now let's look at what is equity and owner's equity. The term equity means something of value or worth. It can also mean ownership. Generally, when looking at equity, you want to consider the value of something and how much you owe is on that value. What's left over is equity. Owner's equity is an owner's ownership in the business. That is, the amount of the business assets owned by the business owner. It's the amount the owner has invested in the business minus any money the owner has taken out of the company. Owner's equity is one of the three major sections of a balance sheet. It has several subsections. Invested capital. This is the total investment for all owners or shareholders. Retained earning. This is the retained earning at the beginning of the accounting period. Retained earning current. This is a retained earning for the current accounting period. These three amounts are added together to get the total owner's equity. As I stated before, with practice, you'll understand this information better. Feel free to rewatch this or send me a message if you have any questions. Now I have a question for you to think about, which I'll answer in my next video with some examples. Why was these formulas or terminologies created? Why does it have to be so complicated? <laughs> Actually, it does not need to be complicated at all. This framework was created to standardize the financial statements. It creates ease of understanding and doing business. <laughs> Make sense? Well, let's work on some examples in the next video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will be posting written notes on my website where you can easily download it for your class or reference. Your comments and feedback are always cherished and welcome. I look forward to seeing you on another topic. This is Can Indian Channel signing off. Peace.